Hello everyone. <coughs> Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyrene, and if you're new here, I like to make videos, and I don't post regularly. So, if you guys want to know whenever I post, and if you guys end up liking this video, make sure you guys subscribe so that you guys don't miss the next video. Anyways, happy New Year! This is my first video of 2020 of the new decade. Hope all of you guys have been doing well and yeah, I just wanted to hop on here really quick. I didn't forget about you guys. I am doing well. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do something about my makeup. I forgot to put on some mascara. I just wanted to hop on here and say Happy New Year and post my first tutorial slash walkthrough of the year um i probably posted something before this because i reviewed these lashes and i hope you guys check it out because these are so cute these lashes anyways if you guys want to see how i achieved this makeup look then keep on watching Hi everyone, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium and I'm taking the MAC 248 and carving the bottom of my brow. This just gives my brow a little bit more definition and just allows me to use less brow product. And then I'm going in with a Morphe R32 buffing brush and I'm just buffing out the concealer onto my eyelid. And the concealer on my eyelid will act as eyeshadow primer. And then I'm taking the Moira Eyebrow Gel in the shade Deep Ebony and filling in my brows off screen. Now I'm taking the Pure Festival palette and I'm taking the shade Hidden Desert on a Morphe M514 brush and patting it and placing it into my crease and blending it out with the Sigma Diffuse Creased E38 brush and then I'm taking the Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 and going in with the shade All Night on the outer corner of my eye and just building up the product to my liking. Then I'm going back in with the same concealer I used earlier and I'm taking a Morphe M2500 detail brush and I'm carving out the placement of the cut crease. So I'm just carving out the shape of it and making sure it's even. And then I'm taking the same flat brush I used earlier and just dragging down the concealer onto the half of the lid that I cut. Then on top of the concealer, I'm taking the shade Free Spirit with the Morphe M213 brush and I'm just patting in that shade and I'm also taking the shade Good Vibes to transition the dark shade into the light shade and then I'm also taking the same brush that I used earlier with the shade All Night and blending the edges of the cut crease to make it appear seamless. Then I'm taking the Alomar Cosmetics flat brush and I'm taking the shade Hidden Desert and placing it on top of the cut crease to sharpen up that cut. Now we are starting our face. So I'm going in with some primer. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Y'all already know what it is. I'm just patting that into the areas where I have enlarged pores. So that is my T-zone and under my eyes. Then I'm taking the Il Maquillage foundation and using a Makeup Shack brush to blend that into my skin. If you guys are liking this video so far, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so that you guys don't miss whenever I post since I don't post regularly. And if you guys want to see more makeup looks, make sure you send them to me to my Instagram. And my Instagram is at beautybykyrene. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Now I am going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The same concealer I used earlier. And I'm putting it on the high points of my face. 
and as you can see I was using the small concealer brush to blend it out but I just decided to use the foundation brush to blend it out and so that it looks blended better into my foundation and then when it comes closer to my under eyes I use the smaller brush Now I'm going in with my beauty blender into some setting powder and I'm just pressing the setting powder all over my face and focusing it um, on my t-zone since that's where I get oily and I'm just dusting it off with a fluffy brush from the makeup shack. Then I'm taking the brush that I used on my crease and taking whatever product is on there onto my lower lash line and I'm just buffing out that product to give us a more smoky look. Then I'm taking the pretty vulgar bronzer in the shade Bronze B and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks on the outline of my hair. After that, I'm taking the Note Cosmetics blush in the shade Desert Rose and I'm taking a little blush brush from the Makeup Shack and applying it onto my cheeks. At first, I'm dabbing the product on there because it's really pigmented. So I'm just blending that into my cheeks and I'm putting a little bit on my nose. After that, I'm taking the Morphe M441 brush and taking the bronzer and applying it to my nose just to give me a more precise placement of the bronzer on my nose. After that, I am going in with the Fenty Beauty Kill Watt Highlighter in the shade Lightning Dust and I'm using the Makeup Shack T38 brush and I'm applying that to the high points of my cheeks on my cupid's bow, on my forehead, above my brows, on my chin, and I'm using my finger to place the highlighter on my nose as well as the inner corner of my eye. After that, I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay Child Setting Spray. This is the cooling and hydrating one and this is oil free and yeah, I really like this one especially in the summertime, but I need that hydration. After that, I'm applying some lashes. These are the Discover Yourself Lashes in the shade I'm in the style forgiven and if you guys want to hear me talk more about these lashes and my thoughts on them make sure you guys go check it out I'll put it in the cards above after that I am finishing off the look with the dose of colors matte liquid lipstick in the shade truffle and then on top of that, I'm applying a gloss from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Madison Avenue. And that is the final look. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more of this, just comment down below. Um, follow me on Instagram. This is my link. You, you guys could send me some inspo or send me pictures of the looks that you guys might want me to recreate. And yeah. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys soon. And 